The Panthers led by as many as 18. It got a little tight late, but High Point hangs on for the win here at home. Panthers take it 72-67 over Longwood. Hi, everybody. Evan Leffler with Stafford Stevenson. And the Panthers made enough shots to build the big lead and then made enough plays late to hold them off. It wasn't easy. I'll tell you, the second half was uh, touch and go. High Point had enough to hold on to uh, pull out the win at the end. Before we get to the second half, let's talk about how they built the lead in the first half. Great ball movement, great shooting, seven combined three-pointers for Devontae Wallace and Lorenzo Cajun. Yeah, outstanding first half, especially defensively, as you said. Uh, really a great defensive effort in the first half, and uh, that was something to build on going forward. In the second half, along with Quincy Taylor, got hot. He had a ton of points after halftime, and yet the Panthers never trailed through this entire game and were able to make enough free throws late. It's a team that's shooting about 80% from the free throw line for the year. Oh, it, it, there's so many things, factors that allowed High Point to hang on to win. Foul shooting was certainly a key one there. Before we get to the highlights, and there's a couple good John Brown dunks you're going to want to see. Big picture, this team is 14-4, and 5-1 and one in the league. A busy stretch of basketball coming up, but a chance for this team to do something really special. Yeah, and, and it, the schedule is not easy. Uh, they've got their work cut out for them, not only with a lot of games, but against quality teams ranked uh, where they are in, in the Big South Conference. Now, for those John Brown dunks, let's take a look at the highlights. Weary to the basket, try to reverse layup. No good, but John Brown caught it in the air and slammed it in. Under six minutes to go in the half, Wallace drives to the basket, lays it off for Richardson, who slams it with two hands. That was a pretty play from the High Point Panthers. Oh, no doubt about it. Richardson dribbles with the left hand, throws to Gagini. He's open, so he shoots, and he buries the three. Perez Lahan, who slips it forward, up high, Brown oh. for the alley-oop. John Brown hanging oh, in the my. sky for an eternity, Woo. and he threw it down with authority. The busy schedule continues on Thursday as High Point goes on the road to Radford, a place that has been a difficult spot for High Point to get wins, but they have won there. They have, and it's uh, been a while, though, and uh, the, the stage is set for a big basketball game at Radford. And we're back home on Saturday against Asheville. We were talking before, we've had some great games here at the Miller Center with the Bulldogs through the years. That's the next home game, Saturday at 7. Stafford and I have the call for you from the Deadman Center at Radford, Thursday, 6.30 airtime, 7 o'clock tip. For everyone here with High Point Basketball and for Stafford Stevenson, I'm Evan Leppler. Thanks for tuning in on HighPointPanthers.com.